All right, so here's the wheels that I'm building. It's a disc brake wheel, so it doesn't have the uh, edge for the brakes to ride on. That's a DT Swiss. It's a 32 spoke count, so good for touring. You can get them in different variants, uh, 32 spoke being at the higher end of the spoke count, so you can carry more gear, more for touring and things like that. More heavy, heavy duty usage. So that's the, the rim. Uh, I got DT Swiss spokes, black, so I'm doing a black rim, black spokes, uh, and then the hubs I chose to go with are the DT Swiss 350s with the center lock disc brake. So I can run center lock discs and uh, the six bolts with an adapter, so very versatile. And this has got an 11 speed uh, freewheel on it. They're really cool hubs. You can actually completely disassemble them by hand. Uh, these originally come as a solid axle like for a mountain bike and you can literally just pull out the ends and swap them for your regular quick release skewer for a road bike. Uh, they make another model that's lower, I think it's the 240 uh, and really the only difference between that and this is they have have different machining so the 240 is a little bit lighter but at a higher higher cost. So. All right. And with any wheel, uh, to, there's there's all kinds of different length spokes and you need to use some some calculation to determine how long the spokes you need because um, they can differ especially on the rear wheel because it's going to be dished over you want it still in the center of your bike but the space between here is not totally center so need to uh, use a calculator DT Swiss uh, has one on their website it's absolutely fantastic especially if you're buying their products you can just select them it will calculate the spoke length for you uh, but even if you don't purchase their products you can enter in the manufacturer spec of the hubs and uh, be able to calculate the spoke length that you'll need all right so we're going to start with the drive side and what we're going to do is we're going to put a spoke in every other hole starting from the inside. I'll show you why in a minute here. Uh, the way this one happened to work out it's kind of nice. The spoke was only like a half millimeter difference, the length uh, on the rear wheel because of the rear disc. So I was actually able to So I was actually able to order the same length spoke because there's enough play when you're tightening them down for to easily make up a half uh, millimeter. So, all right, so we're going to put these into every other hole. On the one side, now, I don't know if you can see that there. So now we've got it in every other hole. What I like to do, it adds a nice touch and shows a bit of professionalism, is to make sure that the logo, I'm going to use the DT Swiss logo, lines up with the valve hole. So it makes a quick reference and then it, you know, it, it, it's what sets you apart from uh, any other wheel builder. So the thing is, once we put these in, we're going to twist it a little. So what we're going to do is offset this here just a little bit. So we're going to start and just pick out the spoke nearest to the logo here. start with the hole on the left side of the valve hole. So 
we're just going to thread it through there, and then we're going to put on the screw on the nipple, just a couple turns, just enough so it doesn't fall out. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to skip one, two, three holes and put the next spoke in the fourth hole. Okay, so slide that through. And again, a couple turns on the nipple. All right, and now we're gonna go to the next one. So we're gonna skip one, two, three holes and put it in the fourth hole. All right, now that we've got every other spoke on the one side, uh, on the drive side here, uh, we're going to want to put in spokes from the drive side again, but starting from the outside going in. And before we do that, so part of the decision in building a wheel is what sort of uh, pattern you want. I'm going with a three cross. It's a little bit more stable, can handle some more weight. Again, it's good for, for touring. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to rotate the hub. And now we're going to slide in our set of spokes. So we're going to rotate our hub. Okay, so we're going to slide this from the outside to our hub. Slide the spoke through. And then what we're going to do we're going to cross under, under, and over placing the spoke in the middle hole all right so once you got one side laced up you basically follow the exact same pattern for the next side so we're just going to repeat the same pattern, say over, over, under. So with this one, I'm going to go over, over, under. Again, you can kind of bend the, the spokes, they're pretty resilient. So just continue with the pattern. And once that's done, You'll tension everything up to the manufacturer's specs, true it up, and you'll have yourself a nice set of wheels.